What's up guys, it's Coco Jones and I'm here with Allure doing my 10 minute beauty routine. I'm excited, everyone does these. So what I like to do, hopefully my hair's already done, that takes care of a lot, but I like to put a scarf on my hair. Once I have like my scarf on, something to keep my edges set, won't get any makeup in them, it's time for step one, and that is brows for me always. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony, and then I also use this CoverGirl Perfect Blend. I don't even know if this is a brow pencil. It might be an eyeliner, but it works really good on my brows, so. I used to have brows that were like, are you okay, brow? Also just all over the place chaotic, because my dad's brows are like, and I was like, I'm done. The next product I'm gonna use is concealer for my brows. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. I feel like it's such an oldie, but goodie, man, come on. This is when I carve out, because there's some hairs here that just don't get the picture. So they're, they're out, they're getting erased right now. And if I'm really feeling fancy, then I use more of this and I drag it all the way down and it becomes, you know, my eyeshadow base. Also, ladies and gentlemen, your brows, they're cousins. They don't have to be identical twins. Just as long as they're in the same family, you know? Cut yourself some slack. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Medium Dark. It's really good, I'm not even gonna lie. I just take a little bit of that and I go right on the top and then I will bring it down in an orderly fashion. Okay, so then I just go anywhere where I want a little bit more color. Just a little touch up. Just a little touch up to keep things squared away. There's a little bit of a harsh line here, so I kind of just brush it into the front of my brow to also give that ombre effect. So I don't do much for my skin prep because typically I've already washed my face, but I always choose a great sunscreen before I do my foundation. This is the Urban Skin RX Sheer Glow Even Tone Daily Defense Mineral Moisturizer. This is the great SPF before I do my anything. Even if I'm just waking up, the sun be sneaking in trying to creep in there and burn ya. I don't know why, I always use this brush to put on sunscreen. My sister was like, why do you do that? And I'm like, I don't know, I just, it just makes me feel like my life's together. Can I just be myself, please? That's one thing that I love about Urban Skin RX. It's a lot of, it's created for a lot of colors of skin, so sunscreen doesn't make you look like a ghost, you know? Woo, this isn't Halloween, this is a lure. Next thing we're gonna do is the foundation but technically I do, when it's 10 minutes, I technically do them all at the same time. So I'm gonna show you the highlight, the contour, and the foundation, cause they're all gonna be working together right now. This is Huda Beauty Peanut Butter Cup Foundation Stick. And then also we're gonna add the, this little tiny, this is the NARS Medium Dark Concealer. And finally, yes, you girl. This is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in Suede Mocha. So. What we're gonna do next is what I learned from my makeup artist. They technically, they do the highlight and the contour at the same time and blend them together. Right here, I don't know why I do this swoop, swoop, but I feel like it does something, so just leave it there. Then I'm gonna put a little bit right in betwixt my brows. <laughs> a little tap tap of this bright NARS concealer just to really pop lock and drop it. Then at the same time, cause I'm daring, I'm gonna put this black opal right here where the contour is like, you know, right there. Gonna add some setting spray just to make it a little more damp. And then, hey, why not set my makeup as I'm blending it? Let's blend. I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to like, I don't swipe anything. I just like tap it in a circular form. I want a little more concealer under my eyes, a little more of a pop. So I'm gonna go back in with just a little more and blend that out. Then I'm going to take my Huda Beauty and I'm going to put that right under my contour because technically nothing was there. To start, it's gonna go there. It'll go a lot of different places though because this little brush here takes it there. I love this brush. So I'm gonna go under my contour. Then I'm gonna take it a little bit of everywhere, just, just to like blend everything. Now we're gonna set everything. Once we have it all on, we don't want it to get oily 
all these foundations, all these concealers, we need to set them. So we have a lot of setting to do. The first powder I'm gonna use is Huda Beauty. This is the setting powder in Blondie. I also have it in Cinnamon Bun. There's a light one and then there's a dark one. The second version of setting I'm gonna do is Fashion Fair Iconic Press Powder. Black owned, per. So before I set, one more time, I'm just gonna blend these things because I don't want any creasing. That's not the vibe. I'm mixing both of these and then I'm gonna press them right under my eye, right here. Now it looks a little scary at first, don't cry. While that is baking, I'm not gonna bake for very much long. I'm going to set my contour and I use Anastasia Tropical Getaway Face Palette. This honestly has a lot of good purposes, but the main purpose is it keeps my makeup bag small because there's three things in here. Contour, highlight, blush. Come on now. Now this is a cool toned contour palette, so I don't like to use a heavy amount because I like to keep my makeup warm, but this does a decent job. Then I'm going to brush off this, um, this setting powder right here. I'm just gonna brush this off. I'm going to take the Fashion Fair products and I'm going to lightly tap them under my eye. Remember I said that that uh, foundation was gonna go a little bit everywhere? I just wanna take this and just marry everything. Everything is just being blended. There's no hard feelings, there's no harsh lines. I'm gonna take some of my contour because this isn't the time for eyeshadow. I still will put a little bit in my crease and then whatever is left over will go right down to the nose bridge just to put some dimension there, you know? We don't want that nose to fade away because of all that highlight. Now this is the Dior Iconic Over Curl and they meant it when they said that this is iconic because wow, my lashes really come to life with this here. I'm going to also put on some falsies. I use my Duo Lash Glue. Here's a little tip. If you're not great at putting on lashes, which some days I am and sometimes I'm absolutely terrible and I don't wanna risk it today, you can just take this thin little applicator and basically pretend it's eyeliner and put your lashes on that way. So, I like to look down in any type of makeup mirror I have, and I just put this on the lining of my eye. It gets on your mascara, it gets on your eyelashes, I'm not even gonna hold you. That's the risk you have to take. These lashes have been that girl to me. These are the Annoy Lashes by Tanel Varia, but you make a great pair of lash. I like to take my um, tweezers, go right towards the base of the lash, Strip thingy, and then I just place it down. Honestly, if your eyes start watering, you're doing something right, you're focusing. I will say putting on lashes has been such a trial and error because you don't know you didn't do it right until you look back at pictures and your lash is under your eyebrow. And you're like, why didn't people tell me? I'm going to just put a little more lash glue right here on the corner because that lash is a little apprehensive. I am going to do a little blush and I'm gonna use this Big brush here. I love blush, it makes me feel like I'm shy. Do a little bit on my nose, like, like that one little cartoon character. That's cute. Okay, next step, I did my blush. I am going to double check my brows. I just have a little OCD about them because they are so important to me. My next favorite step is lips. I used to just do gloss, but my makeup artists have been making me put real colors on because I feel like it just, it adds to the look. So we're gonna do lips next, but we're gonna start with an important crucial, and that's chapstick. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy chapstick, and man, it is so good. Okay, just gonna blot that in a little bit, and then we're going to go with a lip liner. This is the MAC Lip Pencil in Chestnut. God, I love it, it's so good. I literally don't put on a lip color without Chestnut, I'm sorry. Then I'm gonna go like mwah, 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 mwah. This part's a little scary. You're just rolling the lip pencil into your lip. And then sometimes I use this other pencil, very goth, purr. I also take a little bit of this because it's like a dark purple. It's just, it's cute. And I go right, kind of on the same, kind of at the same spots, but not exactly. Next, I'm going to use Glam by Dan. My makeup artist put me onto these colors. These are the colors Nearly Naked and 103 Embrace. I'm gonna put this right on the center. Then I'm gonna blend. Then I'm going to 
Top it with a gloss, the Glam by Dan's that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna use Nearly Naked. Final thing that I've also learned, you're gonna do a spray, you're gonna do a powder, then you're gonna do a spray, but not too much powder. Don't overwhelm yourself. Blow dry that just a little bit. And then you're gonna take whatever's left of your powder. In all the crucial areas, you're just gonna take whatever is left. Yeah, yeah, yes. And this is my favorite part. You're done. This is my 10 minute beat. <laughs> Thank you so much, Allure. This was my 10 minute beauty routine. Feel free to try it if you're in a rush.